just a boat, floating alone in the fog. It's empty. Hello, youngster. What's your name? Anton. What are you doing here? Fishing. At night? Best time. It's dangerous to be out here at night, especially for a child. Why? Didn't you hear what happened to your mayor? And what about those moon things? You mean the moon ghouls? I saw them once here on the lake. What do they look like? What are they? Yellow. Their whole body is yellow. Except for the faces. They don't have faces. Their faces are shadows. You were hidden somewhere? They saw me. But they could do nothing. Dr. Hatur was taking them away. Where did he take them? I don't know. The doctor told me to go away. I didn't look back. He's always good to me. Always gives me food. Says I have to gain weight. How's your fishing going? Badly. Wouldn't you need a fishing rod? Net? Or anything that could help you with that? I'm not trying to catch them. I'm just calling them. I want to see them. Ugh. The lake seems lifeless to me. Are you sure this is the right place to fish? I know it is. Mother Evelina told me. So your mother told you to come to this very pier at night to try to catch some fish? She must be an exemplary parent. She is good to me. She loves me. Look. <laughs> she made this dress with bells just for me. <laughs> Others don't have dress like this. Others? Who are they? My brothers. Why would she give you a dress with bells? I can call for help when others are mean to me. Evelina always comes. Why do you let your brothers be mean? Fight for yourself. I don't want to be mean towards strangers. Mother Evelina says it is impolite. Your siblings can't be strangers to you. You live in the same house, eat the same food, maybe even sleep in the same room. We live together, but they are still strangers. See, I think they know where their parents are. I don't. Kid... Are you all right? No. I want to find my parents. So, Evelina is not your mother? She told me my mother and father are living here now. Somewhere inside Lake Harley. I'm trying to call them. I want to see them. <sighs> Do you live in an orphanage, perhaps? I live in a big house. Above our roof is a giant tower with giant bells. And we have a big courtyard. With a big wall and tall trees that prevent demons and evil spirits to visit us when they leave their underground beds. You know, when I was your age, I lived in a house such as yours. Evelina was your mother too? No, my mother's name was Olga. Was she as good as my mother? She always protected me from my brothers and sisters. You also had a dress like mine? With bells? No, but I would have loved to have one. <laughs> Do you have spare bait? Why? I need food for a pet. He is hiding, and I need to lure him out. You want to see the king in yellow? How did you know? He's beautiful. That is why. Everyone wants to see the king in yellow. What are you doing, kid? That must be painful. Take it. This will definitely help you. He loves my skin. Eee. 
Mother Evelina says I can't feel pain. I use skin to cool my mother and father too. But they don't seem to love it. Only the King in Yellow does. Thank you, Anton. But don't do that anymore. It could be dangerous if it gets infected. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. What a strange game. <gasps> okay, we have the foods, I guess. Let's try to lure King in Yellow. It can be cat or dog, it's gonna be something weird again. Because this game is far from normal. Anton's piece of skin. Ugh, gross. But I need it for the king in yellow. Mr. Wilde has chosen you. Where is he? You called him. He answered. You can see him now. This room is the same as before. Except for this yellow cat that just showed up. That is him. The king in yellow is Mr. Wilde. Mr. Wilde is the king in yellow. Mr. Wilde is a cat? Mr. Wilde is the name of his earthly being. The body has an essence, a soul. That soul is the king in yellow. You can think of yourself as a lucky man. He loves to eat human skin, but I think he chose you because of the circumstances. What circumstances? Strange is the night when dark arises On a strange night like this with a full moon Stranger still is the lost man Lost in Carcassa woods Dr. Hatur sang today's circumstances in sorrow But the king loves this song So what now? Ask the king in yellow I'm just his servant I have to talk to a cat. Is this man one of Hatur's patients on the loose? The king in yellow is here now. You have to talk to him, not me. I would like your permission to go upstairs. I have to talk to Hatur. The king says you are not allowed. You may, though, go to his room. If I don't go upstairs, how... where can I find his room? There is a passage leading to it. The king will not help you find it, but neither will he obstruct you. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm not allowed to see it. You are free to step inside. Though beware, it is a one-way pass. Once you get in, there is no coming back. You will have to find another way out. Can I go into the maze? The king says you are allowed to go. Nothing bad will happen to me? You are afraid of who you are. What does that mean? That it is safe for you. I'm only the messenger. The king says you may go. Do not seek further instruction. Just go, and don't look back. Not everyone has this opportunity. Excuse me. What if I go back? Will it still be open? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going... To the maze first, I think. Oh god.
It's a dead end. Cool. What? Or oh, it's the same? It's not the same, okay. Oh, what? Well, okay, if it's not the same, then it just need to keep going left Okay, this can be correct. Oh god. That doesn't make any sense. This must be the heart of the maze. What? If the maze is as old as the building, then this oak tree should be as old as both, if not even older. Is it possible that a treasure is hidden below? I want to know. I descended steep stairs and walked through a long tunnel to get here, at the bottom of the lake. Well, there's someone sitting. A long dead corpse is resting here. He died looking at the beauty of the water above. Not a very comfortable chair. It's like a torture device, is it not? The medallion of a 15th century pope, Innocent VIII. He acknowledged witchcraft, condemned it, and made sure to hunt and exterminate those who practiced it. Looks like a journal to me. I'll take it. A medallion made in honor of the Pope Innocent VIII. There are a lot of blank pages in here, with just a handful that have content. It's official. I'm a Vatican architect now. So many opportunities lay ahead. A bright future thanks to God. If only I could have a soul at peace. If only... I could get this shadow out of me. Hmm. Today, we arrived in Sabor. I hate it here, but this is not a pleasure trip. Work must be done. Ulrich wants me to build them a church in the forest? Something that was not planned. My time here will be prolonged. The castle and the court were monumental projects alone. I think Ulrich is a madman. No one dares set foot in the forest, and he wants to build this church in its heart. I dip my feet in the lake. I really like it here. Holly tames the animal inside me. The town is horrible. Something is horribly wrong with the people as well. 
but the lake. The lake is paradise. Ulrich named the castle Grimalda. He and the rest of the Inquisition's officers settled in. My own castle is now completed. What a view from the room. I can see a big part of Holly from here. So calming. My cats are here with me now. Most importantly, Mr. Wilde is here. Oh, I missed him so much. I gave him what was left from that old man I found on my pier last night. He is insatiable. He wanted more, but I said no. I heard Ulrich set himself on fire yesterday in the castle. What a tragedy to end up the same way as your own victims. Probably for the better, if only he knew about my past. I am not cured, but I'm well. I have succeeded in building an underwater room at the bottom of Holly. The chair Ulrich gave me is what I needed here. I enjoy the view. It soothes my eyes and soul. The spikes make me remember I am a sinner. Death remained in town years after the Inquisition left. They killed all life in the water, leaving ashes and despair. I think I started to lose my own mind, for I can see dark humanoid shapes in the water of the lake. Maybe they are just spirits who came to take their revenge on me. My time has come. Mr. Wilde is by my side, and I am prepared to greet the other side. Not Ahrisat, nor perdition, just my own underwater tomb. Well, I read all the pages. There are a lot of... Well, uh, that's it, I guess. Okay, cool. Oh no, I have to go back? I could get out of here quickly. Yeah. Lucas said it's not possible to come back. Am I really ready to go in? Not... You are free to step inside, though be once you get... Excuse me. Lucas said... I'm going in. Ugh. What is this place? It's like I entered into a hellish nightmare. And there's no going back now. Anton Ferro Istarsky. How is this possible? I remember this painting from the orphanage. My brothers and sisters from the orphanage. Horrible souls deserve a horrible fate. My mother, the only person who stood up for me. My father, he used to tell me I'm nothing but a sin and called me God's degenerate. I must be losing my mind. Mother, is that really you? K. 
Kelly Sue Drayton. Why am I seeing you? The painting from the orphanage. How did it end up in this place? Lies. In the real painting, I was standing by your side, and there were no other children. Mother? I was waiting for you. Demonic slave! Where is she? Where's my mother? Interesting. I should wait. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Can I ask around? I'm I'm not sure what to do. Oh wait, there's another path we can go. The path the old lady told me about. It's too dark and terrifying. Let's go. All sorts of negative emotions are hitting me in this blackness, and I can't see a thing. I need light. Okay. Well, I can't move. Okay, I have to go back. Have to get the lantern. Do you mind if I take this lamp? Huh. That dust collecting thing is here because I inherited it with the house. Go ahead. But don't forget to return it. Sometimes it gets very dark in this valley. Without a lamp, I could get lost. Darker than this? It appears to be empty. I need to find some oil to make it work. It's empty. To be able to use it... A giant bowl made out of clay. This should be enough. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. Didn't see the painting, I thought it's... I don't know, didn't even see that. Never mind. Oh, wait, I need light. It has enough oil to work. So, can I just turn it on? Just like that?
If I didn't come here, thoughts like this would never cross my mind. Okay. It has enough oil to work. Well, you need a match, right, to light it up? Wait, the lady had a candle. Do you happen to have any spare matches? You are afraid of darkness. Look into the angel's vase. Take what you find. I will. Thank you, Madam Vera. Excuse me. I can see a matchbox which I'm taking, and a strange crucifix that looks more like a weapon of sorts. I believe it could kill a beast. As long as I'm trapped in this valley, I might need it. And since Vera wrote I could take whatever I find in here, I'm taking that too. Nothing in there anymore. It's empty. It looks like a holy weapon. It's full of matches, in good condition. Oh my god, this is horrible. I've never seen so many. It's a dumping site. Two different kinds of footprints here. Fresh footprints. No way I can be sure one of them belongs to Victoria, but this proves Vera was right. She wasn't imagining the whispers from the woods. I wonder, how could my sister possibly know the Warden? Where did they meet? He was looking for her last night, before the incident, and then they talked afterwards here. Why? Something must have happened to her in the last few years. Both of our parents perished, and now our bloodline is cursed. It's not a fairy tale. It's our reality. I have to go to the lodge, tell Nikolai I was right. He can do whatever he wants after that. I did my part. I'm leaving. No one can judge me or condemn me after... Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Ah, no, no, ah, ah, no, no, get off, get off, get off, no, no! I have to get out of here immediately. 